Just picked up this two for a rolling rock. Worked my ass off last couple of days, so I decided to treat myself. Yes, back to work. Work is already picked up again. <laughs> so there's a free glass in here. Uh, so what I'll do, let's head on to the games room. We'll start today's video and uh, I'll unbox this. We'll take a look at it. Stay tuned. Yeah, back, back baby, back with another video. Today's video is brought to you by Rolling Rock Extra Pale. <laughs> so first things first, we'll open up this glass, which I'll pour my beer into, and I haven't washed this glass, so hopefully it doesn't have any COVID on it. Who knows uh, what factory this came out of. <laughs> oh yeah. So now I know what it feels like to be John Hancock wrapping all these gifts. So there you have it, comes in a nice green box. Pretty nice. Oh, there's a card in there too, fuck. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Not bad at all, not bad. So, today's video, I wanna talk about the Sega Genesis. Now before we get started, let me do the uh, inaugural pour. Get this started here. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, so where were we? The hell? Hello? Um, I've decided that I want to halt making videos for the time being. Um, I haven't been happy for a long time. It's about time! <laughs> oh god. Anyways. <laughs> Where were we? Talking about the Sega Genesis. Now the reason why I want to bring this up. My Project Genesis, my Genesis room is near completion. I have two slots left on the wall for loose carts. And not only that. I found out this week, I went to, up in Canada, we have a, a large retail chain called Shoppers Drug Mart. And when, when you go in there, they don't just sell just drugs. They have everything under the sun. <laughs> One of the main uh, companies that owns all the grocery chains owns Shoppers Drug Mart as well. So they sort of amalgamated the companies and you know how it goes with retail. Now when you go in there this time of year, they got a bunch of Christmas shit in there and they have a lot of different gifts, knickknacks and what whatnot. I went in there and lo and behold, they got the Genesis Mini back on the shelf. So this thing, I'm not saying it was ever, you know, production had ever halted, but I had only ever seen it for sale online through select retailers up until now. But this is the first time I've seen it in a long time where it's back restocked at the point of sale. So for any of you guys out there that are like me that don't really shop online, if you're in Canada at least, head out to your local shopper's drug mart and you should be able to pick one of these bad boys up. Now, let me take a sip of my beer. <laughs> yeah, so now, uh, with the Sega Genesis here, kind of an exciting, I guess, milestone if you will, if I could just finish that, that wall of games that I have and fill in those two extra slots that I have left. Now, I went online today on Kijiji, which again is Canada's version of Craigslist, and some guy was selling a lot of Genesis games, like, a, sorry, not a lot, but a lot, like six games. <laughs> and he had the price at $500. Now, I don't think this is, this is a serious price. I have to imagine the guy just put in $500 just to be able to post the ad, because that's what you do when you've got multiple items. Uh, you know, you gotta put one, price in to post the ad so maybe he just put in he or she put in five hundred dollars this is getting somewhere <laughs> so i checked out the games uh i had a couple of them but i noticed he had michael jackson's moonwalker which is highly sought after for the for the genesis and the mega drive and he had road rash 3. so i did message him i said what are you asking for these two games i haven't heard back yet he just posted the ad about six hours ago it was showing 22 people had looked at it. So I don't know, maybe he won't get back to me, maybe he will. If he does, 
you'll be seeing a follow-up video very shortly talking about this because this is pretty exciting. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, I'm not saying it's a great game, it's not bad, <laughs> but it does hold some culture, cultural significance. It was a real popular game back in the day, obviously Michael Jackson right in the beginning of the, of the 90s, I guess you could say. So yeah, if I could get Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, Loose Cart, and Road Rash 3, that would be pretty sick. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I more or less just wanted to have a talk about the Genesis, talk a little bit how my collection came to be and, and where we would go from here. So right at the, uh, the five minute mark, so we better get going on this. <laughs> so I wanna say maybe about a year ago, I was at a, uh, a local, kind of a thrift store out in the country and they had a bunch of electronics in, in bubble wrap at the back as they normally do. And they had a Model 1 Genesis, the high definition model, all wrapped up with two controllers and all the hookups and it was $50. And when I saw it, my eyes lit up like a little kid in a candy store. It's not very often that you see that at a thrift store. And I passed it up and then a couple of days went by and I'm like, you know, I had that uh, itch that needed to be scratched uh, as they say it. So I had to scratch that itch. So I, I drove right back and uh, lo and behold, it was still there if you could believe it. So I picked up that Model 1 Genesis and uh, I haven't looked back since. I had a Model 1 Genesis years ago back in the day in the mid 90s uh, after I had my Super NES. For a brief period of time, uh, a, a friend of mine that I went to public school with, he didn't come outside very often after school. He'd stay inside and, and play video games. Well, as you get older, as you get closer to high school, sometimes, and it happened to me too, sometimes you fall out of love with gaming. And uh, I just remember he sold me his Genesis and all of his games, CIB, complete in box, quite a few sports titles, I don't know what I paid for it back then, but some somehow or another I only had it for a little while and then I must have sold it again at a yard sale. <laughs> anyway, so I've had a Genesis multiple times. So now I have this Model 1 that I picked up last year and I swear to God, a couple of months later I found another Model 1, just the console itself, no hookups, at another thrift store and then I found another one. So I have three of them. I have two backups, they're all Model 1s. I only have one high defi definition model and all three consoles are in mint condition. The other two are plastic wrapped, put away in a box. So yeah, I'm set, I'm good to go. I don't have a Model 2, nor, nor do I really want one. I prefer the Model 1, obviously. But it's crazy to think, you know, those consoles are, are basically 30 years old at this point and they still run like a charm. And the thing is, I've talked about this before and I'm not gonna go too far into it here, but from a collector's perspective, and I know the Super NES these days gets more love, it's got better resale value, the games are more expensive. The Super NES console, and to a lesser extent the games, they're prone to fading. The console goes yellow after a while. I had a couple of Super NES in my lifetime and they were not faded. I should have kept them and I didn't. Can't go back now. But the Genesis has that nice black plastic on the console and it won't fade. So as far as aesthetics are concerned, uh, if you're looking for something that is going to last a long time and won't fade, go with the Genesis, especially the Model 1. Now as far as my, my game collection is concerned, again I've been chipping away at it. I've been buying a lot of games in the classifieds over the last year. I've been nickel and diamond it. I haven't been spending a lot of money. To buy these games, I don't have very many that are highly expensive in my collection either. It's very much just a hobby collection. And I was trying to make an eclectic collection and put a lot of games in there that aren't necessarily on the Genesis Mini. Now look, the Genesis Mini is a fine mini console. I haven't actually hooked this up, but I obviously have seen videos on it. You can hack it as well, I don't know if I will. Uh, I kind of like keeping these systems stock. I don't know what it is. I, mo I modded my SNES and my NES Classic and I don't really play them to be honest. So, <laughs> But I bought this more so just to have it in, in, the, in the Genesis room and it does look nice in there. Now that being said, uh, there's been a couple of 
I guess you could say homebrew games that have come out over the last couple of years for the Genesis. So if you're in the market for homebrews, uh, there's quite a few games you can get out there as well. There was one that came out, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my tongue right now. And it was kind of like Smash TV. Uh, and it came out a couple of months ago as well. That one looked really good. Um, you can also get multi carts on eBay that have like 300 games in one. You could stick it in your Model 1 Genesis, you've got all your games. And then there's the Mega SG. I really like the Mega SG a lot. I think that would be really awesome to have one of those. And if I had it hooked up to my new TV downstairs, wishful thinking. But I really do like the Mega SG. At the same time, it, it loses a little bit of its charm. For those of you who don't know what a Mega SG is, it's basically a, a reimagining of the Sega Genesis made by another company called Analog. And the console is like 300 bucks American. Could be off on that. It's around 200, 300 bucks. And what it does is you can hook it up to your TV via HDMI and it plays your Genesis games in high definition. It's pretty cool. But, like I said, at the same time, it would be nice just to have my Model 1 hooked up to a nice CRT. So, I've been in the market for a CRT. A lot of CRTs are either dirt cheap on the, on the classifieds. I'm talking like five, 10, 15, 20 dollars. Or you can sometimes get them for free because people just want them out of their house. So, if I could get a nice CRT, I don't want a big CRT. I, I'd like maybe a 20 inch or an 18 inch. Something that's manageable, manageable, excuse me, because anything bigger than that, if you're trying to lift a 27 inch CRT on your own without help, good luck. <laughs> and if you want to get rid of it someday, you either have to get someone to pick it up or you got to take the hammer to it and break it apart piece by piece and carry it out of your house like that. <laughs> but yeah, there's something about having scan lines with the original hardware and that High definition model I have with the nice Yamaha chip. <laughs> so yeah, I really love the Genesis. Uh, I've been playing Pebble Beach Golf, believe it or not, on it lately. And uh, although there's quite a few games I would love to have for the Genesis, again, it's all about having re realistic and manageable expectations. You can't go out there, you know, trying to buy up every game under the sun because you're gonna put uh, undo financial stress on yourself potentially doing that so you really got to keep yourself in check and and keep things manageable games that i wish i could pick up but i just haven't been able to find in the wild batman and robin uh, i know that game is really tough tougher than a cheap steak but i love the art design in that game vector man 2 i've been looking for that for quite a while i haven't been able to find it i think that's pretty much it zombies ate my neighbors is like impossible to find on the genesis so Wishful thinking there. And even uh, speaking of the Genesis, John Hancock, the guy, the man everyone loves to hate, he posted a video last night, I think it was, and he was talking about uh, all 15 uh, Konami games that were released for the Genesis, and he rated, rated them, I guess, like, he gave it like a grade score, like A, B, C, D, E, F, <laughs> with, I guess he gave some of them like an S grade. I think in school nowadays, there's no longer uh, A or A plus, you get an S for satisfactory. Am I wrong on that? Am I right? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, he posted a really good video actually, talking about all the uh, the different uh, Konami games that came out on the Genesis. I actually enjoyed it very much, so. <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to talk about the Genesis because uh, over the last year and a half, I've really fallen back in love with it. I never thought I'd go back to the era of the 16-bit games but I'm really glad I did. And uh, again, between the Genesis, the Super NES, and the uh, TurboGrafx-16, at my ripe old age of 37, soon to be 38, uh, these days I lean towards the Genesis for my 16-bit uh, gaming. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'll let you guys know in a couple of days if I do get Michael Jackson's Moonwalker and uh, also Road Rash 3. I'm really excited. Hopefully I can get those games. So I'm gonna leave it there. Right about the 14 minute mark. Look out for an upcoming stream with me and Afro Gamer Dude. We're gonna try to do a, a, a stream where we're both on it together. It should be a lot of fun. So anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. You people are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Canadian Gamer and you take care. Um, 
you know, I know I've been a part of that with the uh, Canadian Karen stuff and and all. I don't want to do the Karen videos anymore just because, uh, you know, Simon Stevens says they're just guys with 500 subs and a buzz cut. 